Hey, hi, Chris. Yes, just now I've received the ticket number four uh, on my plate and I'm seeing that it's a production issue and the application is uh, uh, needing some kind of uh, root cause analysis for the issue that has happened. I have quickly checked on the logs and I have found out that there was a major uh, setback with respect to persistent volumes in the Kubernetes uh, pods that we have deployed. So I've immediately rolled back to the previous version and updated the, uh, updated the persistent volume uh, claims and the PVs of, of the particular system. Uh, as of now, I can see the traffic, uh, it is taking the traffic and uh, whatever the traffic that we have routed onto the other cluster uh, is being segregated uh, with the help of round robin 5050. And uh, whatever the RCA I have done, uh, I will just uh, send you over the email and I will loop the entire team. As of now, what I can do is I can uh, put all the things into this particular ticket and uh, along with the screenshots also. And my manager was requesting you to draft an uh, additional email on why this issue has happened on your uh, side uh, when your team was on, on call. Uh, yes, Chris, thanks a lot for your time, Chris. Yes, 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 yes. I'll, I'll take care of the rest of the things from, uh, from India side, yeah. Yeah, I will update you by end of day and uh, will draft you everything so that uh, uh, you guys can take care from that, uh, that point of view. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I have, I have added some point of labels on this ticket. Uh, I think that will help you to uh, filter out when uh, there is there is any time uh, you want to filter out the RCA and the production related issues. Yes. Okay, thanks a lot, Chris. So guys, you have seen that I've just now talked with Chris and uh, you can see this is my company's uh, uh, Jira portal, right? And uh, in this Jira portal, just now I've received a ticket on a uh, production issue and I was able to check all the details and uh, clearly there was an issue with respect to the uh, volumes of the pods uh, because uh, the volumes were of different size uh, which were given to it. It was not able to uh, write the data onto that particular volumes due to some um, some uh, what you call like uh, permission issues and all those things and we have fixed that just now and uh, every devops and sre engineer day-to-day -day activity starts with this jira portal only guys to be very honest this is kind of a portal what work you have done at what quantity you have done and what are your plans in the next coming days that you will be doing the work everything will be putting up here by your team or you can also put by yourself so the first and the foremost our uh, teamwork starts at 8 30 to 9 a.m in the morning and usually uh, i will be the person who will be checking all my jira tickets if any development team has raised any tickets for me if any production issues like this has come to my bucket or not and sometimes some kind of other issues uh, uh, other teams come to us like okay this branch is not working the jenkins didn't got trigger uh, the deployments are not working your uh, sonar cube is not sending the data to other systems so these kind of things also uh, becomes the part where you go ahead and troubleshoot uh, the issues so now uh, let's say like i got a ticket and i am jumping onto that issue and i am solving it i am drafting an email and i am looping everyone in the email so that my entire team should know that yes boss i have worked uh, in this particular issue and one more thing guys if you are a devops and engineer sre engineer make sure that you are drafting an email for whatever the task you have done because usually what happens right there are people who take someone's credits from your bucket so very very much important so make sure that you are doing everything on the email and anyways jira ticket is a proof for yourself now come Coming on to the other issues, once you have solved this, there can be many, many things under the DevOps bucket, uh, like onboarding of the new uh, projects onto your pipelines, making sure you write shell scripting, Python automations, make sure you are very much uh, into uh, bringing up new automations, guiding to the juniors who are joining to your team and making sure that some kind of shell scripting also you are writing. So if I have to show you some of the shell scripting automation, let's say like uh, the if else block is failing okay if else block is failing so how do you fix that if else block condition in the shell script how do you write a shell script to hit a rest endpoint get the data automate that process and send an email to the team so these all are important aspects now one automation i will tell you from my bucket which i have done recently in my organization so that is like uh, you have the ci cd pipeline okay but uh, in the day in and day out almost five to ten versions are getting released into dev qa and staging environment and out of this ten versions my manager is not aware which version who is releasing what commit have been pushed to the particular branches what branch code we are deploying and uh, many things like what is the build number and all those things for that what i have done is i have introduced an integration of the uh, of the grafana and mysql database so i have introduced the jenkins pipeline stage into my pipeline 
which will have the MySQL database and all the data from the Jenkins upstream jobs. I was able to send it to the database and I have connected the database to the Grafana dashboards where everything you will be able to see in the dashboard. So once you share that uh, Grafana dashboard link to your manager, your manager will be able to understand that yes, boss. Uh, uh, who has triggered the builds, what kind of versions have been released, which environments this version will have been deployed, what kind of JIRAs have been worked on this particular project and all those things your manager can see easily. Apart from this, coming on to the SRE side, I take care of... Uh, of the monitoring Prometheus and Grafana we have a uh, pager duty also so whenever there is an issue we receive the uh, pager duty alerts and and we receive various kinds of uh, alerts and we have to be very much attentive at that point of time because some kind of production issues like this will come to your phone and you have to be attentive and you have to take that that call whether you will be solving it or you will be passing it to other teams or not and apart from that you have to make sure that your system is 24 by 7 365 days uptime and whatever work you have done on your India side you have to hand it over uh, to the USA team that is one more challenge when uh, you have geographical uh, locations distributed teams that is very much important that you need to take care of that kind of handover because the other person uh, might not know like what exactly the work you have done right that is very much important apart from this your manager will give you additional tasks in in, uh, making sure that whatever the uh, things like uh, making the design diagrams, making the data flow diagrams, making the confluence pages on whatever the new things you are working or guiding some juniors, you have to take care of all those things. Okay. Apart from this, you have to make sure your all your DevOps projects that are under your team, right? All the development projects, all the DevOps projects that are under your team are following the best DevOps practices. Very, very much important like branching strategy, proper versioning, proper uh, integration of the versions of the tools that are there uh, and uh, making sure you they are uh, following the checklist that your team as a DevOps engineer have put in that. So these all things play an important role in you being a DevOps and SRE engineer. And that's how the day-to-day -day task starts with. And also at the end of the day, uh, you are the primary responsible for person for making sure that your team and you are uh, safe on the DevOps point of view. There are no issues no Kubernetes production issue, no Kubernetes uh, deployment issue, no servers are hanging. At the same time, when I talk about the servers, many a times it becomes an important thing that you have to play with the Linux server. So you need to have Red Hat Linux system administration, complete knowledge. You need to have the networking of the Linux, complete knowledge. Let's say like you are hitting uh, something like youtube.com. Okay. And uh, you are just listening this music. So sometimes uh, when we do the work, we also listen music. Okay. So it's not like every time we do work, we are not a robot. So we are, we are trying to make sure that Yes, we are doing some learnings out of which we are taking some times to uh, relax ourselves. So let's say like I'm hitting www.youtube.com from my Linux system and the server is not reachable. What do you, how do you troubleshoot it? What kind of commands you use it? What kind of firewalls? What kind of IP tables you will check it? What kind of uh, Linux troubleshooting you will do it? So these kind of things are daily day to day tasks you need to make sure. Apart from that, what kind of Ansible playbooks you are writing? What kind of Terraform code you are writing? writing how you are managing your infrastructure, uh, AWS and Azure or GCP or how you are doing cost optimization, how you are saving the costs of the current infrastructure, right? And these all things we were primarily responsible for doing these things and, and that's not at all. You have to do some kind of development also at some point of time because that's when uh, your manager will differentiate you from others, right? So whatever I have told you, I hope uh, you have liked it and th this all things, whatever I have told you in the last nine minutes, are true to my experience guys it can depend uh, it can be varying for person to person but mostly the stack and the work nature remains the same and yes listening music also is a part of the uh, work and if you are any time working as a devops engineer and you do these kind of things comment down if i have missed any of the tasks from the devops engineer list you can comment down that's also and make sure that you are joining my free devops bootcamp which is starting from this uh, this Saturday, 24th August at 6 p.m. And make sure that you avail the most of it. Check out all the links in the description and make sure that you are a happy DevOps engineer. So stay tuned, hit a like and share the channel link with your friends. See you in the next video. This is Singham signing off.